What are the best coffee shops to check out in San Diego? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today, we are gonna be talking about the best coffee shops in all of San Diego. And I have a special guest with me, and this is my good friend, Tim, who is a local barista. What's up, Tim? How's it going, man? We're here at the Waterfront Park Playground. Tim, you've been a barista for how many years? Uh, over a decade now. Wow, and you've lived in New York City, back here in San Diego. You've you worked for a few places that we're gonna feature on this list. So I'm currently <laughs> working for Portal. I've worked for Bird Rock Coffee Roasters, and through that, I'm actually really good friends with uh, owners of Coffee Cycle. So we're gonna go check out Portal and meet the owner, Stilianos. Let's go. Hey, what's up, JK Shitters? I'm here with the owner of Portal Coffee. This is Stilianos. What's going on, my man? Hello, nice to meet you, first nice to of meet all. You. Thanks for stopping by. This is a local coffee shop in a touristy area, essentially. We want to cater to our local audience as well, but be mindful that there is lots of tourists here and we want to serve both communities. So we kind of hybridize both into what is Portal Coffee. And on the weekends, is a big influx into tourism, and we appreciate all the tourists coming out and checking out um, the San Diego in general. And then during the week, it's kind of catered towards our local audience and, and uh, people who are still left in the community doing office work and such like that. I think after COVID, it's gonna be um, far more like an influx of people in general, just because everyone's kind of, you know, moving about once again, so. Yeah, and what's really great about your location is you're right off the PCH. I can see the Star of India there in the Portside Pier. Correct, correct. I mean, this is awesome for tourists and locals that come out here. It just is. Just to cross over. They just don't know it because there's a park in between you two guys. Very true, very true. We're like set back from the Embarcadero and we're also set a little forward from Little Italy. So we're on the border of both. I'm actually from uh, Sacramento. Okay. And I came down for the beautiful weather. <laughs> and wanted to make a change. Coffee is something that's been a passion of mine for a long time. I thought San Diego would be the place for it and I'm really enjoying our time here. Thanks for sitting down and talking Thank to me you. a little no, bit. My pleasure. Let's go inside, try some coffee, and uh, he's gonna explain to us what their best coffee is here. Thank you. All right, so the first drink we're gonna be making today is the Spice Honey Latte. What it is is two parts cinnamon, one part ginger, one part Michelic honey, and they do amazing stuff. So combining all the three together with organic Strauss milk is how we do the Spice Honey Latte. So we're gonna start with the lavender latte. Uh, it's two shots of espresso. Right now we're using the El Gaucho by Manzanita. lavender latte, which is the espresso is pulled through the lavender flowers to give it the floralness. So that's oh, not nice. going to be from the syrup, it's going to be coming from the actual extraction. As well as uh, vanilla bean uh, syrup that we make here. Uh, this one is a cardamom orange latte, which we infuse cardamom orange into our simple syrup over uh, the espresso from Manzanita, um, which is a three bean blend, Guatemala, Ethiopia, Colombia, over the nice milk. This is a really balanced beverage. You're gonna uh -huh. get two tones. You get cardamom on the top, back of the tongue, you're gonna get the light orange flavor. Uh, it's just really, really pleasant. All right, guys, so we're gonna try out the lavender latte. Oh yeah, it definitely tastes like the floral notes to it. Yeah, so um, that one's definitely the floral, uh, just cause like uh, the lavender's coming through as far as an attraction. And then we also have like a, a floral series on our menu, which is gonna be a, a rose latte as well. We also have a vanilla orange with rose, which you can add in, which is pretty cool. So. Nice, I'll add. This is gonna go down Cheers. easy for me. <laughs> it's a great place to uh, grab a cup. You can walk around the city from here. The park is right across the street, Waterfront Park, Parcadero ahead from that. There's a light rail right next door, so if you want to uh, travel around, uh, it's easy access as well. So. And it looks like it's dog friendly out in the very patio. Much, very much dog friendly. San Diego is such a dog friendly place, so uh, we welcome all types of animals. It's cool. <laughs> nice, and there's a playground right across the street, so if the kids want to go out and play, and then you can hop in here and uh, get caffeinated. 
They have some great coffee. Where can they follow you? PortalCoffeeSD.com is our website. And um, then you can find us as PortalCoffeeSD um, Instagram handle as well. And I also want to make sure I give a shout out to um, Homage Bakehouse, which uh, does all of our baked goods and they do an amazing job. Everything's handcrafted. And they're out of Pacific Beach, so I'd recommend you checking them out as well. They also do a weekend pop up here on every Saturday. So if you're looking to, uh, to have some pastries as well, it's a good spot. And thanks for having me and uh, support local. Absolutely. All Thank right. you. Cheers. Cheers, guys. If you're digging this video, hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. And now back to the video. All right, educationers. So we're at the second place for best coffee shops in all of San Diego. Uh, we're between PB, Pacific Beach, and La Jolla. And we're in this small neighborhood of Bird Rock. A lot of beautiful secret beaches around here. Wind and seas just down the street. Bird Rock is one of the OG coffee roasters here. Can you talk a little bit about Bird Rock? Because you used to work here. Bird Rock is definitely the OG of San Diego coffee roasting. They were kind of the original company that were what that was doing, direct trade. The owner would actually go down to the farms, negotiate prices uh, directly with the farmers. And so there was no middleman and that was really the kind of uh, impetus to, to their to their fame. And then it just started this whole kind of coffee scene here in San Diego, right? Yeah, definitely. After uh, Bird Rock, I think a lot of uh, shops saw how the, how the business model um, was able to kind of uh, bring that coffee culture uh, to San Diego. You'll see this later on in the video, places like Mostra, where they'll go over to the coffee farms in the Philippines and actually source their coffee directly from there. And there are other places here in San Diego that have also followed suit from Bird Rock. So, gotta pay respect to the OGs. All right, man, you ready to go inside? Let's put on our masks and uh, head yeah, in and order. definitely. Hi, I'm Ari, it's nice to meet you. So, you love Bird Rock? Yes, I come to Bird Rock all the time. I come and walk over by the beach and come get coffee. Um, this is my number one favorite in San Diego. And then my second favorite would be Moniker and that's like in Liberty Station area. So I highly recommend checking this place out and then checking that place out as well. Awesome, thank you. Of course, it's nice meeting you all. All right guys, so we got this cream cheese bagel. I'm just starving, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, so. Nice toasted plain bagel. It'll fill me up. So we got our coffees. Tim, what did you end up getting? I ended up getting just a black coffee, the Bird Rock blend, shot down a double espresso of the Colombian single origin. Now, you're a barista, man. How many coffees have you had today? <laughs> uh, I usually start the morning off with at least three before I even leave the house. At work, if I'm on bar, I'm tasting coffee all day, so you give it equivalent to at least six or seven coffees. Wow. And then this being the seventh. This is my second, and I'm, I already know I'm gonna be wired all night, dude. <laughs> tolerance, <laughs> it's all tolerance. That's a dirty horchata, so it's you know it's your traditional um, horchata uh, with shots of espresso and looks like a little bit of a uh, spice and uh, um, cinnamon on top. Yep. Oh man, it's good because it's like mid '80s right now, dude. So it's a hot one. <laughs> I had to I had to go iced with this one. I'll let Tim have the hot one for this one, but I had to go iced because you can't tell, but we're sweating. So Tim, you used to work at this Bird Rock location back in the day, right? <laughs> yeah, I was here uh, 2013 through 2015. Uh, so I was here for a couple of years. Um, spent my time on the bar back there. For people visiting Bird Rock for the first time, what do you recommend that they try? Their commitment to quality of the coffee speaking for itself. Um, and so I usually just drink coffee black. And I think if you come here, they've got a bunch of different ways to uh, try their coffee. Um, they've got the espresso and they've got the drip coffee, the filtered coffee, and they've also got a slow bar uh, where you can just order any coffee on their menu at market price uh, over a pour over. There are multiple locations around town. Yeah, they've got a bunch of locations in San Diego. They've got one down in Little Italy, not too far away from Portal. Yep. They got the Morena uh, roasting facility. Um, with a slow bar as well and they've got uh, two more one in PB and then one in Torrey Pines I believe yeah the one in Torrey Pines is awesome it's right next amazing to the Roberto's view. amazing view and you're overlooking the uh, Torrey Pines Reserve and the beach like I definitely recommend going to that one easy access to the freeway let's move on to the next one man let's go
Next on the list of best coffee shops in San Diego is Mostra Coffee. Now with two locations in the suburbs of North San Diego, one in Carmel Mountain Ranch and one here at Forest Ranch. They have some amazing coffee. They source their coffee beans from the Philippines up in the northern part of the Philippines and bring it over here. Now Mostra means Italian to perform. We're gonna go inside and try out Mostra Coffee, one of my favorites in all of San Diego and I definitely recommend driving all the way out here if you're a tourist just to try out Mostra and all their Filipino themed drinks and their traditional coffee drinks like their cappuccinos and their lattes and espressos. It's amazing and they do a lot of great collabs with breweries like Moxa Brewing. They have a uh, collaboration with Alesmith and I also see Russian River is uh, something that they're also doing stuff with them and they also serve Filipino food from time to time and they have great events. So make sure you're following Mostra Coffee down here in the link below. What I really like about this location is that they have like a they have like a coffee bean bag that's from the Philippines. They have like a jeepney decoration. So there's a lot of Filipino themed decorations around here. Even though Mostra is an Italian word, it's very Filipino. All right, educationers, so we're here at the patio of Mostra Coffee here in Forest Ranch. I picked up my favorite Filipino drink ever, which is ube. I got the ube latte with an espresso shot. And that's what I really love here about Mostra Coffee. Not only do they source their coffee beans from the farms in the north of the Philippines, but they also have some Filipino themed drinks like this ube latte. They also have the champarado cappuccino, which is like a Filipino dessert and a babinka latte. So they really do show love to the Philippines you can see on the inside, even though their name is Mostra, which is Italian to perform. But that's because their four owners are basically performers in their own right. One's a chef, one's an actress, one's an opera singer, and one was in the military. They're very, very talented. They show love to the Philippines, so cheers. Got the ube latte. Oh yeah, it's got that ube flavor with it. Got that extra shot of espresso to wake me up. That's a thumbs up. Also, just recently, this location here at Forest Ranch got their liquor license. So out in this patio, you could actually drink beers. They have beers on tap from Harlan Brewing, one of my new favorite brewing companies here in San Diego. But they also have a deal with Russian River. The Russian River's up north, and they had Pliny the Elders. So I picked up a bottle for me and my best friend. Mostra and Alesmith came together for this collab, so I had to get a four pack of that as well. Then on top of that, I had to show love to a local brewery and Mostra, so I got the Speedway Ghost Bear collab shirt. So today happens to be National Beer Day. That's why they're doing all these beer specials and promos, but it's still too early for me to have a beer. So I just had the ube latte. Chef Mike is in there hard at work. I ordered a uh, Lango Sando, which is a Langonisa sandwich. It looks really good, and I never tried anything from Chef Mike, so I'm really excited for that. He's hard at work in there right behind me. Hey, educationers, I'm here with one of the owners. This is Sam. What's up, Sam? What's up, everybody? Uh, nice running into you, dude. Yeah, yeah, likewise. Hey, Jay, thanks for uh, coming by uh, Most of Forest Ranch. We've got our uh, beer and wine license, uh, and the food, um, so stop on by. I mean, I got the uh, Russian River, yeah, right Pliny on. the Elder, and then the Mostra uh, Elsmith Speedway Cell. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're stoked. We, uh, we have Russian River uh, on tap here. We're fortunate to, to have them as an account and um, all the other collaboration beers that you know we're fortunate to be a part of. So stop on by Most Mostra Forest Ranch. Y'all cool. take care. Thanks, bro. All right, brother. Hi, educationers. So we got the Lango Sando. Chef Mike was hard at work. Looks like we got Langonisa. That uh, okay? Some eggs, mayo, onions on this nice bun. Thumbs up. For those of you that don't know what Langonisa is, you're gonna have an interesting burp after you eat a whole meal or eat this sandwich. But it's so good. It's like a sweet Filipino sausage. Next spot on the list is here in Pacific Beach. This is on Grand Avenue. This is Coffee Cycle. Now it's owned by Chris, who is amazing. Come by, stop by in the store, and say hi to Chris and all his other baristas. They are so nice and so welcoming. It's all about love here, all about SD Local. So shout out to Coffee Cycle. Let's go inside and maybe try out a little bit of their Costa Rican blend. Tim replaced me when I broke my collarbone. <laughs> yeah, Tim just waltzed <laughs> right. right into my slot at That's work. Right. <laughs> and so I had, had broken my collarbone in a cycling accident. Yeah. 
and I walked into work after three weeks of not being there. I couldn't tie my hair back, so my hair was all down and wild. And I walked in, and Tim was behind the bar at Bird Rock <laughs> Coffee Roasters. And I was like, they never let anyone behind the bar that they just hired. Who is this guy, and how did they let him on bar so quickly? Yeah, within a few days, yeah, I was on bar. Yeah, because <laughs> they lost 40 hour a week employee, and they needed someone who was really good already. And I just happened to, yeah, I think it was like maybe that week I'd, I'd stop by and just dropped off my resume. <laughs> I applied there three times. I've been working there for years to get where I was at. And then you just waltzed right in. That's so funny. That's so funny. I forgot about the broken collar thing. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it because we became such good friends. Yeah, so I always yeah, thought yeah. that was cool. You know? He's OG also. So we went to Bird Rock yesterday. I'm really grateful for the community for keeping us open. But the, the main yarners that we have come in every day, I'm like so grateful for her. Yeah. Because without her, I don't know if we would have stayed open. And I think it was the right decision. And you said Tim was the inspiration to your vanilla. Oh, that's right. You, oh, you weren't here when I heard this. So, <laughs> was there some pre talk earlier? So, we make all of our syrups in house. Yeah. You know, we make the vanilla, we make the lavender, we make the chai, turn the chocolate into a sauce. We've done a couple seasonal syrups. But when you started your roastery, brew more coffee. Yeah. I still have a sticker for that on one of my scales at home. It makes it's very faded. <laughs> but you had a flask of homemade vanilla syrup. Yeah. And I was like, you can you can just make syrup. That's so cool. I was so impressed. <laughs> um, and now I, I mean I made plenty of syrups, but we just use whole vanilla beans and organic cane sugar, and yeah, it makes an awesome syrup. Juicy blueberry, really, really good. You got the blueberry tones. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Yes. Right out. Cheers, brother. <laughs> Cheers. Hi, Jagationers. So, I'm trying out the uh, Costa Rican blend. Oh, yeah. I love a Costa Rican coffee. So, this is almost like the go to here at Coffee Cycle, but they have some other awesome stuff like the Rwanda Sumatra. They have a bunch of other stuff. So, Cheers, we're gonna enjoy this Costa Rican blend. Shout out to my friend Adrian in Barcelona. Shout out to uh, Costa Rica, Mai. Cheers. Yeah, and I just had this, you know, straight up black. No sugar added, no cream. I usually don't do that, but when it comes to a Costa Rican coffee, I just want to taste it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate you for having me. Thank you guys. So nice to have you in my shop. Anything you want to say to San Diego? Oh man, keep drinking good coffee. Drink it because it's ethical. Drink it when it's transparent. Drink it because you know it makes you feel good. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you guys. Hello. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. It's all we need. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. Thank you for existing. We'll see you next time. Shout out to San Diego. Uh, Woo! SD! So the last place for best coffee shops in San Diego is Jaunt Coffee Roasters. We're gonna go inside and talk to the owner, Jimmy. You've seen him before on Jacation in my Miramar Hidden Gems video. Let's go inside and check it out. We're here at the final spot for best coffee shops in all of San Diego, and I'm here with the owner, Jimmy. What's up, Jimmy? Hi, much, man. How are you? Thanks for having me back here. Of course. We were here for the Miramar Hidden Gems video. Yeah, plenty things. of people came in telling us that they uh, saw us on Jaycation. Yeah, it was great. And I'm trying a nice cold brew, right? Yeah, so this will be our new drink starting uh, next week. It is an orange ginger uh, cold brew that we make. It's a house-made orange uh, syrup, and we uh, sprinkle a little bit of uh, ginger powder on it, and then we shake it up, um, throw a little bit of half and half, or if you like alternative milks, throw in a little bit of oat milk or almond milk that works really well. It's a good drink. San Diego is always hot. Orange and ginger wow. is kind of uh, refreshing. It gives a little bit of nice spice. We really enjoy it, and I think people are going to like it. Yeah, I like the like. I never had really had orange 
we did like a cold brew before. Yeah, this yeah. Is, this is interesting. It's actually really good. Yeah, it's really good. We don't try to overpower the flavor of the coffee with the syrups or the spices. Uh, so we just try to uh, bring out um, some good flavors and not overwhelm it, but still be very coffee forward. Nice. Yeah, I enjoy this. What are you drinking, Jimmy? I'm uh, drinking just our regular cold brew, which is from uh, Brazil. Um, yeah, I really love it by itself. It has uh, fruity and uh, nutty notes to it, chocolatey, which is something that everybody enjoys and likes. And um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Nice, man. Cheers. Boom. So, Jimmy, you're from the Azores in Portugal, right? That's true, yeah. I come from the Azores. That's where I grew up in Portugal, yeah. Nice, man. That was uh, one of my layovers. I had an eight hour layover there. You've probably seen it on Jaycation in the early days. <laughs> um, that was in, was it Punta Delgada? Punta Delgada, that is on um, the island of San Miguel. That's a bigger island uh, in the Azores. The Azores is uh, it's built of uh, nine islands. And I grew up on the island of Tuseta, which I guess you can say is like the second biggest island of the Azores. What are the uh, Portuguese influences you're bringing to John? Pretty much uh, every culture has some type of empanada. And when I uh, started seeing what um, Empanada Kitchen was doing, uh, the Argentinian style empanadas, I had to go down there and check them out. Matias, super nice guy, he let me sample a lot, we talked a lot, and we just love their products. We don't have Portuguese empanadas, but we do have Argentinian empanadas that everybody loves, and I love them. Let's try one out right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So we got beef, we got mushroom and goat cheese, we got uh, ham and cheese. All right, let's try the beef because last time we tried the uh, mushroom and goat cheese, which was amazing. Yeah, yeah. I definitely recommend that. I'm gonna go with the beef just because I haven't tried it yet. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I also really do love the ham and cheese because it's so simple. Mm -hmm. It's ham and cheese, but it work comes together so well. It's really nice and savory. Uh, and it goes really well with coffee too. Olives. Uh, Olives. Some veggies and ground beef. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice spices. I can eat these all day. <laughs> <laughs> and then the ham and cheese, yeah. The ham and cheese, you said it's yeah. great breakfast for you on the go. Easy to handle. You can eat it when you're driving. Mm -hmm. Everybody's always in a hurry. Super easy, yeah. Uh huh. Two thumbs up, guys. So we got two type of melasadas. Uh, this month's special is the matcha melasada, um, but we typically have vanilla chocolate and the ube malasada, which is probably uh, my customer favorite and our favorite as well. Yeah, this is this a Filipino inspiration? How did um, this come about? Inspiration, so Portugal, uh, that's where uh, malasadas uh, originally come from, from the recipes, Portuguese immigrants. Um, this is a take on the malasada that is stuffed, it's filled. Um, that's what they do in the island of San Miguel. Okay. Um, but each region of Portugal does malasadas a little bit differently. That's not what I'm used to. Here in Hawaii, um, they made it super popular. Um, and that's everybody that comes here is expecting to see a malasada like this. Uh -huh. So that's what we brought. Um, and we're fortunate to work with um, our wholesale uh, baker that makes these just for us. Um, and they do a great job of getting good feedback. For you Jaycationers, you guys know that I love ube. Like that's my number one. Like if my blood was not red, it'd probably be purple because of ube. So let's try it out. That's a good ube. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah, it's the ube and they add a little bit of coconut flavor to it. So it's a little mix. Wow. I was over at Coffee Cycle yesterday and I had a Costa Rican blend. Yeah. And is that coffee beans that you roasted? Uh, that is coffee that we roast for uh, Coffee Cycle. Uh, that relationship came about through Chris um, and John from the Surf Rider Foundation. Um, he has a coffee project called Cafe Corazon in uh, Costa Rica. So he uh, brings the coffee over and uh, we work together with Chris. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful project that we're involved in. And, um, yeah, Costa Rica coffee is, is from us. All right, Jimmy, so thanks for having me try your coffees and your malasadas and empanadas. Um, I hope you guys can come by here. I know we're a little bit uh, secluded per se, kind of like a hidden gem here in Miramar, Mira Mesa area. It's really important to us to get uh, to have really great customer service and that's what's most important to us to build the community. Um, and also have great offerings and that's what we try to do. So hope you guys have a chance to come out and check us out and uh, hopefully become regulars. Well, thanks for having me again, Jimmy. And uh, everybody come here and check out John.
All right, JK Shitters. So that was five of the best coffee shops here in San Diego. I really appreciate it, Tim. Thanks for uh, taking sure. me along. Of course. He's one of the best baristas, so come over to Portal and check him out and say hi. Tell him JK Shin sent you. This video was shot in no particular order. They all weigh the same and they're all unique in very different ways. If you found value in this video, please give it a like. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please feel free to subscribe as I have an entire San Diego library and more to come. Comment below on what type of content you'd like to see from me in the future here in San Diego. And Tim, man, it was awesome hanging out with you. Thanks, man. And yeah. A maybe, lot of fun. Maybe we'll do another uh, best coffee shops in San Diego because there's not just five. There's more than that. There's a lot of coffee in San Diego. Definitely check it out. Uh, San Diego has a huge coffee culture. We're getting out the pandemic and so now all the shops are opening and, and we can experience San Diego coffee uh, culture again. Yeah, so there's more places like Por Vida, James Coffee. What else is there? Definitely check out Wholesome. Copa Vida is just down the street as well if you're in the downtown area. We might have to do a part two to this video. Part so make, two. So make sure you're liking it and let us know. Is there? Should we do a part two? Also, if you guys are interested, I have a Facebook page called It's Always Sunny in San Diego. We talk about the latest news, recommendations, travel tips, and anything San Diego. And it's a great community. We're almost to a thousand followers nice. on that. Very nice. So check out my Patreon if you want to help fund these small businesses. It really puts it right back into the community. We'll see you guys in the next video. And in the words of Ron Burgundy, stay traveling, San Diego. Uh -huh.